Oh, he's in the beach. He's in the beach. I don't here comes the veteran, Andy Simon, looking for history. That is Pop Pop's toy 10. He's looking to become the first bagger racer with an FLH frame and a 45 degree engine to go into the seven second zone at a national event. This is Hogs Gone Wild from Keystone Raceway. Andy, here early this morning with his son, Andy Simon Jr., ready to take their shot at history. Harley Davidson fans, here you go. The countdown has been on for years. We've got goosebumps. Could this be the first seven second bagger run at a national event? Nice clean pass on this brand new Keystone Raceway drag surface, top end of the racetrack. 798, he does it! 798! 798, Roger! Andy, come here! Andy, congratulate Roger! We have been talking about the first seven second bagger run. the LH frame, they did it. I told him. He's in the beach. He's in the beach. He's in the beach. I told him, Andy just went to sing. But guys, let me tell you, I told him Andy Simon, somebody was going into service. You seen it? Here, I was going wild. First seven second back of passing history. But at what cost? Let's hope and pray Andy's okay. Let's get down there. Well, we're hearing great news. We're hearing Andy's okay. And for Greg's outstanding track here, I think it's safe to say that track is on. 798. Brand new racing surface here at Keystone, guys. We can't wait to check on Andy, though. We're hearing he is okay. <laughs> Here's the big news. Are you okay, yeah, Papa? Just not enough shutdown for this thing. Yeah, I chopped it early because I knew it was short shutdown, but uh, I was on the brakes till they were smoking. And I couldn't get stopped. So everything's okay, though? Everything's good, yeah. Looks like you didn't go in too deep? No. You went 798, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. <laughs> you are the man. You are fearless. 68 years young. Great job. So glad you're okay. I'll tell you, it is so rewarding when you can come down here and laugh and joke about it. As you can see, they got a great gravel trap here for safety at Keystone Raceway. They got a lot of shutdown too. Greg just told Andy, we're only dealing with 200 feet less than Pomona and they run top fuel dragsters in Pomona. Andy says he's gonna be a little quicker on the brakes next time. Thank God he's okay. Is he the man or what? How cool is your grandpa, 68 years old? That's one heck of a way to celebrate the first seven at a national event, huh? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jack and Cycle Drag. You Thank got you it. so much. No damage to the bike at all? No, sir. We just need to clean this baby up a little bit, huh? All right, Jack. Congratulations. So glad you're okay. Thank you, Jack. Well, Greg, I got to say kudos again because your sand trap did its job, didn't it? Yes, it did. It's all about safety here at drag racing, guys. Let's take an inside close look at this marvel. Well, for those curious, and I'm sure we have a lot of people's attention right now, Give me a tour of this motorcycle and what makes it so fast. Okay, let's say I pay a close attention to detail, number one. We have uh, a 74 inch wheelbase, has tools, turbocharger, comp turbocharger, uh, it's all S and S, solver heads, lock, cam, cam brake, oil pump. So it's uh, basically a, it's 172 inches, so it's a big engine. It's a 4804, a 4750 stroke, and uh, we just managed to clutch. My son does all the tuning on it, <clears throat> and I try to run it. Well, I told you, we've been covering this for the last year because these baggers just keep getting quicker and quicker. You have not been in the mix. So have you been off doing private tests, or have you just kind of been at the shop, on the dyno? 
Where did you come from? Uh, uh, that's a good point, Jack. Uh, my son and I spent countless weekends at the racetrack <clears throat> testing, and we uh, ran into just every gremlin you could get. Now, I've been racing for 51 years. I built a lot of race bikes, Pro Gas, Pro, uh, pro Stock, Street Pro, made my own solar heads. This bike, literally, if it could go wrong, it went wrong. took a lot of time, hard work, money, broken parts, and failed runs like this one to get there. And Andy, there's something very special with this clutch, isn't there? Yes. This is a Gen 2, this black part. CNS made the outboard bearing support, but the Gen 2 was built and designed by Mike Lozano in 2006. Legend. And, and given, given to me, I raced it on my Street Pro. That's how old that is. How's that work? It's a almost like a slipper clutch, but it's not. You still have to use the clutch with weights static pressure but it is a gen they call it a gen 2 now mtc makes it i believe and uh, but mike lozano made this for me in 2006 and designed it and the clutch is just works perfect. vital vital when... yes everything wow. no matter how much horsepower you have if you can't get it through the clutch you'll never get it through the track and the frame starts right here stock FLH serial number no rake if you follow all the way down we put a little bump out here only to make it user friendly we didn't have to stock all the way down the frame cradle all the way up to here to here it's all a factory Harley I modified this section here only to make it user friendly and easy to work on there's no performance gains or advantage at least now I can get my hand in there to take the rocker boxes off also if you measure a stock Harley, the bottom of this frame rail to this rail here is 19 inches. That's exa exactly what ours measures. It looks like a drop seat, but it's not. It is Pop Pop's Toy 10. We gotta ask you, Junior, what's this mean? Dad did it. This was a big deal. It was really special um, doing this with my father. Um, I've been going to the shop since, since I was two years old with him, and uh, he's not just my father, he's my best friend, and uh, we pretty much do everything together, and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way, so I, I just love it. This, this this is pretty special. People have no idea the, uh, what we went through to get to this, and the, the, the issues we overcame, and the problems we had to get back up from, and um, we just never quit, and we don't plan on quitting anytime soon. Congratulations, guys. Man, it was great to spend some time with Andy Simon. Got to thank my man, Bob, for driving me down there. Guys, how about this, too? On a serious note, Andy had COVID two months ago. We almost lost him. He battled back valiantly. He's only got one lung. That's what really gave him an ailment to begin with. And now, a year and a half shy of his 70th birthday, he is the world's quickest and fastest bagger racer. What a comeback. Give him a share. Give this a like. He deserves it. Congratulations, Andy.